A St. Louis native who took the stage at the Muni and on Broadway has died. Actor Ken Page was a legend. New at 6, Fox News Patrick Clark has more details about Page's legacy at the Muni and Forest Park, across the Broadway world, and his amazing voice that greeted audiences. This past summer, he was on the stage here in Les Mis, both the Broadway world and the Muni, mourning the loss of St. Louis and Ken Page. Good evening. His voice greeted you at the beginning the of every Muni production. production in the 2024 season. His face you might have seen in Les Mis this summer and countless roles at the Muni or in New York on Broadway over the years. But his presence is what was unforgettable about St. Louis and Ken Page. If Ken Page was here and then people say that if you came to the Muni and saw that Ken was in the show, uh, there's another uh, level or, or, or a moment of familiarity, uh, just a different feeling that you feel when, when he walked out on stage. And, and of course, his, his voice welcomed everybody uh, with, with the good evening uh, every night as, as uh, the voice of the Muni before the show. So he was a part of us uh, in a lot of ways. And, and people, I think it's said well that he's a part of the fabric of who we were. Page was born and raised in St. Louis, graduating from Bishop DeBerg High School and majoring in theater at Fontbonne College on a full scholarship. Page stayed true to his St. Louis, even while performing and starring in roles on Broadway. Best known for his role as the lion in the hit musical The Wiz, he also voiced Oogie Boogie in the classic animated movie The Nightmare Before Christmas. His longtime friend and producer Dorian Hannaway announced the news on social media. Page was still active on the stage. This past summer, he was in uh, Les Mis. He was. He was. He played the bishop in Les Mis. So, um, you know, we all have a, a, another remarkable Ken performance to carry with us to remember. But um, I, I've never known the Muni without Ken Page. I, I, I'm heartbroken to have to start to conceptualize what that is. Ken Page was 70 years old in Forest Park. Patrick Clark, Fox 2 News.